smart cities mission okay why are we discussing this the parliamentary committee on housing and urban affairs emphasizes the need to launch second phase of smart cities mission for tier 2 cities located between 50 and 100 kilometers so there was a uh, recommendation by the parliamentary committee on housing and urban affairs to launch second phase of smart cities mission okay so in cities which are located in the uh, uh, say 50 to 100 kilometers okay so what is a smart cities mission it was launched in 2015 by obviously cities are involved so ministry of housing and urban affairs union of housing and urban affairs ministry in 2015 okay the smart comes when the term smart comes it means majorly digital inclusion okay majorly the digitization or the smart smart watch what is it different from analogous watch the digital time is shown digitally apart from time we can other yeah we can have other provisions of call we can have other provisions of uh, tracking our uh, exercise bill tracking our pulse rate okay the smart solutions are there similarly here apart from the cities which are existing here more advanced or the technologically advanced cities are developing or built okay that is the major aim of the uh, smart cities mission to promote cities that provide core infrastructure clean and sustainable environment give a decent quality of life to the citizens through application of smart solutions okay smart solutions are in, uh, provided for the uh, citizens to have a sustainable environment to have proper uh, or advanced infrastructure and also decent quality of life now there are four major pillars of smart cities mission first is social pillar a social infrastructure then physical infrastructure institutional infrastructure economic infrastructure okay after all it is a city city is made up of physical buildings okay socially people are there economy is one of the factor of the city the governance of them institutional mechanisms so all that are involved in the here as well it involves social infrastructure physical infrastructure institutional infrastructure and also economic infrastructure okay it has an integrated command and control centers okay so we know smart solutions are the basis of smart solutions are with the use of smart solutions the quality of life of people are in, in, uh, in, uh, emphasized or uh, the infrastructure is provided okay so there should be a command and control center which will monitor the uh, pro provisions or status of various uh, provisions which are provided to the people okay so this integrated command and control center will act as a smart city and act as a nerve center for operation management okay for digital infrastructure majorly adaptive traffic control system red light violation detection automatic number plate recognition systems these are involved that is just remember that a city city will be having traffic so traffic will be monitored by the uh, this adaptive traffic control system okay if there is a violation of the red light red light means you need to stop the vehicle if there is a violation it will be detected by the red light vehicle detection violation detection okay then uh, if uh, for tracking the uh, vehicle which was either lost or stolen or which has committed any violence or i mean violation of the rules then it will could be tracked by automated number plate recognition systems so smart solutions based on digitization or the digital technology is majorly involved in the smart cities mission okay digital assets for solid waste and water management system water distribution management cctv surveillance system smart education smart health systems okay remember the objective the aim you will be getting this okay smart solution cities itself but smart solutions with advanced technology that's it okay now what are the challenges see majorly challenges fund we know they are cities they are governed by urban local bodies we just discussed the challenges which are present in the local self government fund one of the major challenge similarly here smart solutions are provided technology is required for initially technology requires money and for that matter the administration purposes also the tech fund is required 
so financial constraint is one of the major challenge okay financial constraint keeping the fund and finances flowing in in for the smart cities mission as a challenge most urban local bodies are not even financially self sustainable okay next infrastructure development similar to what we discussed earlier infrastructure development basic infrastructures are lacking in most of the places so from basic to an advanced we need uh, i mean smart cities is an advanced program right with the involvement of technology okay so basic even the basic infrastructures are lacking in the cities so advanced is a uh, distant scenario okay that is the problem many cities lack basic infrastructure such as efficient public transportation waste management system reliable water and electricity sup supply okay basic things are missing but we are uh, aiming for the advanced ones okay now data security and privacy similar to any type of or any kind of uh, this uh, things which we use with internet or smart solutions one of the major thing is data privacy that is the problem okay so we heavily detect on data collection and analyze analysis to optimize services and resources however ensuring a security and privacy of the data is a major concern okay next is technology integration see in each and every aspect of the city be it traffic be it a uh, number uh, analysis be it waste management be it water pro uh, provision of water to the uh, people see every aspect technology is integrated right smart solution means technology in every aspect in every basic services so technology integration to this every aspect is another challenge okay so technology integration integrating various technologies and systems to create smart solution for the challenge especially in cities with disparate infrastructure clear so what can be done we address that one of the major problem is data security similar to smart uh, smart solutions major problem data privacy data security so data protection should be ensured okay cyber attack a robber system is required to protect digital platforms from cyber attack and safeguarding sensitive public and private data adequately now we discussed the integrated command and control centers they are the nerve centers of the smart cities they are responsible for managing the smart cities okay the purpose or the uh, functions should be expanded their power should be expanded that is another the role of iccs in cities should be expanded by enabling them to provide a variety of service in field of health internal security waste management traffic management disaster management e governance okay leveraging the special purpose vehicles this means that see we have different success models or success stories of various schemes which were uh, which were initiated earlier for example last class we discussed about deen dayal andyojay andyodaya nrlm national rural livelihood mission right it's a success why because the major aim is to what is the major aim of nrlm poverty alleviation by providing self employment so these are success stories okay and other projects which are helping the people to come out of the poverty or which are helping them to have a better life so these can be used by the smart cities as well see in urban cities it doesn't mean that people are rich they also have their own necessities they also need to have employment okay so these special purpose vehicles can be used to buy them and integrate with the smart solutions so people from the smart cities can also be using this and uh, getting better life leveraging the special purpose vehicle the experience and expertise gained by special purpose vehicles must be leveraged in other projects okay Thank you.